Hey, welcome back my friends to another Sprinkler Tech Tip product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and this one's gonna be a great one. Or maybe not, we'll see. But this is a really popular product. We're gonna be checking out the Hunter Node. And uh, what we're gonna talk about with the Node does, does uh, apply whether it's just a single station battery operated node or the four station, because that's the one that I have right here. And the Hunter node is a battery operated controller that is designed to be to be installed and live right inside the valve box in situations where you either don't have a controller, you don't have any power to run a controller, or you're out of wires because you're expanding, or maybe there's a wiring problem and you just can't operate that that valve anymore, you can put a Hunter node right in and uh, operate it with a battery controller. So let's take a look at the node. It's actually been a little while. I, I haven't opened this and I haven't used one for quite some time. So let's just take a look. This is gonna be real and authentic unboxing. Okay, I've got the user manual, which man, I'm actually very surprised how thick this user manual is considering how easy this device is. but. Really, as I look at it, no wonder. English, Spanish, French, Italian, German. That's why it's so thick. So you could probably get this online. Who knows uh, if you need to hang on to it. Then we have in the box, we have the Hunter Node product. And then we have this uh, kind of retainer clip that sets right in. Then we have this, which you know what? This looks like you can mount it to the side of the valve box. Yeah. Now well, that way you can mount it to the side of the valve box and keep your keep your node right there. So it's up to you. A lot of a lot of uh, people just don't even use this device. They just leave this in the valve box. Totally up to you. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna set this mount off to the side. I'm gonna take the cover off here so you can take a look inside. There it is, I'm not gonna power it up. Again, you can use that super super thick product manual or just look online for the, for the programming directions. I can tell you that these buttons are kind of nice and rubberized. It does feel very durable, very well made. And let's go ahead and open it up too. Might as well, right? And good, so, if you've ever seen that movie, battery's not included. <laughs> you can clearly see that it's designed to take two nine volt batteries. That, uh, and that couldn't have been easier for me to take this cover off either. There's a nice rubber gasket that's sealed up uh, so that you can put this in wet conditions like most valve boxes. Then, Let's undo the wiring harness here and talk about what these wires are for. Da, 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 da. All right, so again, this was a four station node, which means it can operate four different valves. So what we have here is number one, this yellow wire. This is the sensor wire. So just like a controller has a sensor input for, um, rain sensors and wind sensors and free sensors and any sensor, that's what this, that's what this yellow wire is, is for. You would cut it and then wire it on to your wired rain sensor. Okay, then oh, let me flip this around so you can see the front of the device. Black is your, is your common wire. So this is gonna connect to typically the, the white wire on the irrigation wiring bundle that's run to the valve box. And then every valve has a red wire. So you would have essentially zone number one, zone number two, zone number three, and zone number four. And then the most important thing that you need to remember when you're using a battery operated uh, controller or inbox, in valve box controller is that you need to have the DC latching solenoid. So you know what? I looking over my shoulder, I have one. So let me grab it. This is the this is the Hunter DC latching solenoid. The beauty is that this fits all Hunter valves. So if you do have a Hunter valve, this is the only solenoid that you need, but you will have to change it out to this particular solenoid. If you're using another manufacturer's valve, like you're using a Rainbird valve or a Toro valve or 
K ring or weathermatic, then you gotta make sure you get their DC latching solenoid because the DC latching solenoid is meant to be used with batteries. It just latches on, latches off, but it's not under constant power. So that's how, that's how these battery operated controllers work. They just send a signal, latches open when it's ready to turn off, sends a signal, latches closed, but it's not under constant power. And that's how they can get the batteries to last longer. So again, this is the Hunter Node 4 station, uh, super durable, super well built, easy to uh, wire, easy to use, and is a really popular item. So if you have any questions about it, we'd be happy to help you. If you're not sure what valve you have or what solenoid should be adapted to it to make something like this work, feel free to reach out to us. You can contact us by phone, chat, and email. So I think that's, that's all I have to say or all we have to show about the Hunter node. And uh, until the next tech tip or product overview. Happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.